So as you saw in the last little clip, I've uh, repaired and fitted the airflow meter minus air filter. Cooling temperature sensor is connected as well. And what should happen now is it'll run rough, it won't idle properly because the coolant temperature and so will be dead. And this is just to prove that reflowing the airflow meter is a simple job. Anybody can do it with a cheap set of DIY tools as you saw me do. And if I can just get the string lock off, you'll see it will rev over two and a half thousand RPM. That's me giving it a bit of gas there. Alright, my foot is off the gas. You can see it wants to die. That's because the coolant temperature sensor is not reading the right parameters for the ECU's fueling. And now, you'll see it go above two and a half. And it's dead. Alright, let's try that again with the uh, coolant temperature sensor disconnected. Come on, you bastard. Ah. Might need to repin this. There you go, it's disconnected. Airflow meter is still connected. Round two. Now this is another way to troubleshoot the sensors one by one. Look at that, perfect idle. I'm not even on the gas. Now, the car has been warmed up, but because the temperature sender isn't connected for the dash, you won't notice. 